Dear Libra, welcome to Saturated in Love, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. It's Melissa back with another weekly message for you all. Hope all is blessed in your world. Holy Spirit, on behalf of Dear Libra, you know who's watching, you know who needs the message the most. We're capturing divine feminine energy, divine masculine energy. You can be a man and resonate as the feminine. and You can be a woman and resonate as the masculine. Don't get caught up. It's just energy, folks. Dear Libra. I love you for watching. Thank you for being here. If you're new, please click subscribe so you don't miss a video. If you're a return viewer, you are a member of the Love Tribe, and I love you for that. <laughs> oh, dear Libra, thank you, Holy Spirit, for using me as a vessel to deliver this message of positive energy on behalf of dear Libra. Divine Feminine, <clears throat> Divine Masculine, these are the present energies. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. This is how they view one another. Feminine, Masculine, how they view the connection. Feminine, Masculine, what they'd like to express to one another. Clarified by Saturated in Love, Expressions of Love Oracle deck. I don't know if you guys ever saw Willy Wonka, but pretty much Charlie, he won. He had the golden ticket. And I feel like my decks are golden tickets because there's only five. So wherever you are across the world, somebody right now from Arizona has one of my decks. There were six made, five left. If you're interested, link below. All right. I want to see how far and wide it travels. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What would Divine Feminine like to express? This is for dear Libra. What would Divine Feminine like to express? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come on with it. Come on with it, Divine Feminine. Okay, now. Divine Masculine, what would you like to express? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What would Divine Masculine like to express? Also having issues. Okay, so you guys must not be in communication right now. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. <laughs> Put him on blast and then he shows his ass. There you go. Oh, the Libra, the challenge the feminine would need to face in order to reunite or be on the same page. The challenge the masculine would need to face. What the feminine is hoping for, as well as what the masculine is hoping for. Final outcome of the journey for you both to be read towards the end now. And what else? We got the overall energy, babies. Six of swords, new movement, Aquarius energy, new movement. Taking this relationship, ship, ship, a sailing to new levels. Let's get it. Divine feminine energy, the sun. Look at that. Come on now. Where y'all headed? Dear Libra, you and yours, there's hope yet. Okay, please. If you felt negatively when pressing play, I hope you end this uh, video positively, okay? Because the sun is here for divine feminine. This is destiny. This is the destiny card of the tarot. Um, not just joy, excitement, and overall feeling healthy, vital, alive, but it is destined for you to feel this way and be this way as well. Oh, dear Libra, divine masculine energy. Ooh, ooh, the devil. Some of them are literally caged behind bars. Oh, dear Libra. Okay, caged, the devil, toxic energy, keeping them defeated, okay? But let's see how they view each other. The feminine views the masculine as ace of swords, living, speaking, walking in their truth right now, trying to uh, grasp the reins of the rest of their lives, quite literally, um, swords energy. So lots of Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, because it also presents as overall with the six of swords, okay? So you guys, dear Libra, um, in this wrap-up of Gemini season... Uh, we find that your masculines, according to the feminine, are living in their truth, okay? So be it complaining of like sorrow and hard times, you're hearing it. Lots of dear Libras, whether together or apart, are hearing it from the divine masculine. A truth has come to light. Or the divine masculine, you see them struggling through something very toxic and very low vibrational. But your son, your energy divine feminine is going to bring them out of this bad time this difficult time okay so they have been expressing themselves the divine masculine to the feminine let's go 
Divine masculine views the feminine as you see, solid, stable, secure, successful. This is success right here. Emerald green. Think of money, honey, is green. Well, cash is anyway. Think of green heart chakra. You know, there's love and abundance here. There's success. There's satisfaction um, for the divine feminine. That's how the masculine views it anyway okay so meanwhile while he's going through hell and probably high water <sighs> the divine feminine can carry this guy because look you're succeeding okay and this was destined hold on babe sometimes people he went to the backyard sometimes people are destined um to be in placed in people's lives for reasons like to help them out of sticky troublesome situations if you have to be the stronger one divine feminine for the time being until you guys can achieve the happiness together because it's coming you guys are sailing in a new direction then so be it if you guys need any help on your journey reach out to me feel free to book something on my calendar link below thank you holy spirit on behalf of dear libra how do they view the connection divine feminine to a cup's love so you see she is being strong she re recognizes she is meant to be here at present for some reason or another you have it you have that success you have that stand-up nature about you where like you're not going to be defeated you're not going to let someone close to you someone you love dear libra be defeated you're gonna be the strong one two of cups it's a union you made the promise of friendship you made the promise of love you made the promise of marriage you've made the promise to be this person's the one so you're gonna act out your freaking duty towards them cancer energy let's get it divine masculine how do you view the bond page of coins commitment here the page is the messenger so it's like young energy fresh commitment for some of you this could be new you could have found a new love and that you realize this person has an addiction and you're like trying to help them through it or you know they're just having a difficult time like finally they're speaking their truth you thought they could have lived in certain conditions but now you realize they're living in a hellish you know environment Whatever this means to you, dear Libra, stick it out because I feel very hopeful for you both. This divine masculine speaks of commitment. This divine feminine speaks to being truly, truly dedicated to her DM. All right. What the divine feminine would like to express, OMG, four of wands. And when you get through this, when we get through this together... I want the world with you. I want the future. This is the marriage card. Aries energy for dear Libra. All right, Divine Feminine is wanting union. This is the 1111 card, so make a wish. A lot of you could be dealing with twin flames. They could, you know, sometimes be low vibrational, your twin, because it is like a yin and yang kind of relationship. Oh, dear Libra. But this feminine wants marriage, okay? Commitment, um, the future together. Also, she's saying our friendship. Come on. <laughs> I love you, Holy Spirit. I do. You have to be grateful, you guys, because I mean, come on. <laughs> Everything I'm saying, whether this is a, a friendship, a union, a marriage, whatever this is, it's like divine feminine is being the strong one, is capable of bringing sunlight to this situation and this masculine. OK, so our friendship means the world to me. Oh, dear Libra. <laughs> and Divine Masculine is stating Nine of Wands. No matter what, this is my Wounded Warrior card, the Nine of Wands. He's freaking tired, okay? He's almost sent defeat, but he will not. He's going to continue. He's going to carry on, okay? The Nine of Swords is pursuing goals, pursuing high achievement, all right? This Masculine, he may be in a toxic funk right now, but he's coming up out of it, especially if this Feminine is here to help him, um, to help steer him along, okay? So I use the terms he, she loosely. Don't get mad at me, y'all but um nine of wands i love this as well as he's expressing ooh, truth be told i'm aware we're connected at the soul so this could be the bond of friendship coming into so much more you guys what challenge the feminine would need to um face in order to reunite three of pentacles keep working dutifully okay capricorn energy keep creating a new freaking portal um so that you guys can jump through this successful portal together okay divine feminine you are capable you are the only one who can do this quite literally queen of pentacles okay so three of coins you guys 
this is carving a new something out of what you got going already all right this is literally fresh opportunity for you to succeed together so keep working at it don't give up whoever needs to feels like giving up dear libra this message is for you divine masculine what challenge would you need to face two of swords libra energy do not let her go oh my god i just got this like somebody's dm feels like because they're presenting issues or because shit has been like chaotic for them they don't want to impede upon your progress and your success as they view you in their eyes to be very successful um divine feminine so somebody's masculine feels like you know what i'm actually gonna think about just letting her go so heads up somebody out there feels like they're too much for you like they can't like you can't handle them and they're shit okay sorry for the shit but for real like that's exactly what i got by this card so the challenge and it's a libra card omg the challenge that masculine needs to face is not trying to run right also when it's twin flame union and when it's real you run runner chaser dynamic so that could be playing out here Oh, dear Libra. And what the feminine is hoping for? Palace of coins to abide and reside in the palace of pentacles. Look at this green. You divine feminines are very fruitful. You know, think nature, abundance, just think everything refreshing. You guys got it. And that's what you guys want. Stability, stability with this masculine, stability um, in general. Okay, let's get it. What the divine masculine is hoping for. Ah, eight of wands. There goes that fire. You guys could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, as well as Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, dear Libra. I also see cancer on the table. Okay, just letting you know what I see. And Libra and Aquarius. <laughs> but the, the eight of wands right here, it just reminds me of somebody who is a high achiever. It's like, um, it's like an Olympic gesture, like throwing that baton, like passing the baton, like throwing it high up, like achieving. This is achievement. Eight of Wands is like, I'm going to pursue this no matter how hard um, it is for me, no matter how much it takes, because they have that passion. Like the Archer, like the um, Sagittarius. It, this is Sagittarius. And think of the Sagittarius symbol, half horse, half man with the bow and arrow. So it's like he's going to go for it. He's hoping for it anyway. Divine Feminine, if this resonated at all, be his backbone, girl. Divine Masculine, if this resonated at all, don't run away from a real thing just because you're going through some ish right now. Okay, final outcome for you both. Oh, dear Libra. Oh, Nine of Cups, love. Look how satisfied this freaking person is. They got the grapes to make the wine. I mean, everything is golden. You guys, Nine of Cups is very, very wish-fulfilling. You guys are going to make it. You're going to make it. Whoever thought about giving up, also ruled by Jupiter, is this Pisces card. <laughs> Jupiter, the lucky planet of abundance, gifts, blessings. You guys, blessings to comfort their Libra and their loved one. I love you guys. Be blessed. Peace.